by now you've seen how to add a new page, how to add text and pictures to that page. I'm going to show you how to fix the pages that already exist. So what's wrong with them is, if, well, first if you to start, go to pages, all pages, and you'll see a list of the pages that you currently have, and you click on any one of them that you want to edit. You just click right on the name, and that that'll take it to the edit screen. So what's going on is there are words that showed up. I copy and pasted those and it copy and pasted what the image should be but because this image was linked to grandviewkennels.com instead of sgvky.com the picture is not uploaded to the right place. So it, the picture is trying to find just doesn't exist in the same location. So we need to say here's the new location for that picture. How you do that is you click the text tab and then we'll be looking through the code of the site. What we're looking for is JPG. There will be a section that says IMG SRC. That means sh image source. And the problem is that here is where it's saying the picture is. Only this picture, image 2545, doesn't exist right there. So to fix it, you need two tabs open. The first tab is with your pages maybe your list of pages or just the, the current page that you're editing. And the second tab should be Media Library. This is where all of your pictures are uploaded. So you can find that by going to Media, and then as soon as you click on Media, it loads up the library. So what we need to do to fix this picture is we know the picture's name is this part. That's what the name of the picture is. So let's copy that, go to the Media Library, and do a search for it. Let's leave off the JPEG because that's not part of the name. It's just the extension. So just the image and then the number. Or if you want to search for just the number, that would work too. But here we are and this is the picture that should be showing. What you want to do is you want to click on image on the name or on edit, either one. And over here it says fire URL. This is the location of the picture. So on the page it's trying to go to the domain and then straight to the picture, but it really should be trying to go to slash content slash uploads and then to the picture. So highlight that all then copy it, come back here, and from J for everything inside the quote marks, paste that. And now, if you click on Visual tab, the picture has shown up. So here we have mail number two, and this picture doesn't work. Let's go to text. Here we can see mail number two. And again, there's image source. This time we're looking for image 2568. So we copy, go to the media library, and you don't have to hit update or anything on that. We just needed the file URL. So media library, paste in what picture we're searching for is. Click on image, on the image name, copy the file URL, and then highlight everything in between the quotation marks, paste, and if you go back to visual, now picture number two has shown up. So once you go through these pages and change the rest of these images, here you've got another one and another one. Now some of them you'll find have a name like this, image 25801% percent 20. This percent 20 really should be a space, but because of the way copy and pasting works, it add, it translated a space to be percent 20. So what you want to do if you find that one, 
just do a search for the number only, 2589. And then here we see, well, actually, there's the space, and then the parentheses 1, which is just what this one should be. But since these two pictures are the same, you can really use either one. Copy. And everything in. Paste. So once you've fixed all of the pictures on the page by using the new copy and paste method, you hit update, the blue button in the top corner, it'll give you a little spinny thing, then refresh, and at the top say page updated. That means this page has been saved and pushed out onto the internet with new changes. I've already uploaded all of the pictures that you had on the old site, they just need to be redirected to where their new location is. Once you do that, you'll have your entire site back the way it was, and ready to go with new WordPress.